Hi there, Toby here. Welcome to this month's Integral Meditations training page. So on this page we have practices for using your distractions to bring you back into the present moment. We have a practice for sculpting your thoughts, how to change your perception of your reality by working with your thinking process. And the third practice is how to still your mind by softening the body. So each of these is put together into two integral meditation practices. One is 20 minutes long and the other is eight minutes long. So you can use the recordings themselves to train in them. But this video is about just an introduction to each of the practices, what they are and what some of the central principles of the practices are. All right. So first principle or first practice, first principle, using your distractions to bring you back into the present moment. So quite often it's it's easy when you're meditating to get get into a, a a habit or a trap of fighting your distractions you're trying to meditate in the present moment your distractions are trying to take you out of the present moment so what we do in this meditation is we practice recognizing that although we may, we may be having distractions that are about thoughts about the past or thoughts about the future those thoughts themselves are going on within the present moment so the presence of thoughts, the presence of distractions, even outer distractions, sounds and so forth, all of them can remind us that we are in the present moment if we can step back and be present to those distractions rather than either fighting those distractions or getting lost in them. So first practice, uh, using your distractions to bring you into the present moment rather than having to fight them in your meditation practice. If you get good at this one, then you can pretty much meditate anywhere. Um, so it's a useful one to learn and, and it's a good little kind of cheat practice for when your mind is very busy and it's, and it's not easy to meditate. Second practice, sculpting your thoughts. So we're just noticing that uh, if you look at your thoughts, uh, they're framing your perception of what is going on. So you have a thought, your thought creates a perspective. The perspective then works on your reality to create a particular perspective and experience on what is happening. So we're noticing that this is going on all the time naturally anyway. Your thoughts are creating the way in which you experience your reality, which is not the same thing as your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts are creating your perception and experience of the reality that you face. And that if we can start to be mindful around this and take control of it, then we can start to use our thoughts to frame our experiences in a particular way. And by doing that, we can uh, create our experience of those experience we can create our experience of those experiences we can sculpt them in a form that is more useful and valuable to us rather than just being stuck with a way of seeing the world and perceiving the world that isn't really uh, helping us uh, to be happy or to be effective okay so sculpting your thoughts a third practice softening the body to still the mind so if you start to be uh, mindful of your thoughts and the body at the same time, what you'll start to notice is that whenever a thought appears in your mind, and that appears also as an energy in the body. So if you want to calm down your mind quite quickly without too much effort, if you really focus on softening the body, softening the muscles in the body, noticing tension in, in different areas of the torso, softening that, then what happens is your, your body energy becomes too soft to support any kind of substantial thinking. So you achieve a mental stillness by learning to really relax the body properly. So very simple practice, but again, you can achieve results really quite quickly uh, just by really learning to hold the body softly so that you're having a thought, but it's like the body is so relaxed that the, the, the tension in the body just can't support the development of that thought, so it just kind of dies away. And what you notice is the softness of the body gives you uh, a clearing, a clear open space within your mind that you can then that you can then enjoy and relax into without uh, having to fight too hard to keep the thoughts out. So it's a good method. It's also a, it's a method where you're really trying to approach consciously approach the sleep state without actually falling asleep. Uh, which then in turn gives you a gateway to actually falling asleep at night, for example, uh, by if you're not if you're having trouble sleeping, you can so fo really focus on softening the body as a, an entry point to then going to sleep. All right. 
So I hope you enjoy these practices. Each one of these are practices that I've developed and, and grown myself. I use them myself very regularly. And again, you're put, we're putting them together into a, an integrative practice where they're all practiced together in the same meditation sequentially so that you can st not just you don't get the benefits of the individual practices in isolation you start to notice there is a relationship between each of the practices meaning to say if you that the, the using distractions to bring you into the present moment helps you to sculpt your thoughts more effectively which helps you to relax more and soften the body the softening of the body then helps you feel less distracted and stiller which then in turn makes it easier to sculpt your thoughts and so on and so forth. So they, they each start to feed off each other and the, the relationship between the practices is uh, as helpful as the practices themselves. Okay, so enjoy. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, yes, I hope you enjoy the meditations.